everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie! <laughs> Guys, today we are having a look at a misguided haul. Originally, when I went on the site, classic online sale that just stays on rotation permanently, we've been over this a few times, used the code whatever it said. So I did that, I picked everything that I wanted, entered the code, but instead of coming down from 800 to 400, it came down to about 500 and something. And I couldn't figure out, I was like, that maths is off. I mean, yeah, sure, I sucked at maths in school, but I'm pretty sure that's not 50% off. So I went through and I was trying to figure it out and eventually I found the T's and C's and it said 50% off everything, excluding all of that. And what do you know, half of the stuff that I bought is from the Barbie collection, so... I'm really excited about this stuff because I saw it on Kayla Hadlington's Instagram story. Again, with Kayla Hadlington, I swear to God. I think I've mentioned her in every single one of my haul videos. Kayla Hadlington. Kayla Hadlington. Kayla Hadlington. Yeah. I have. Damn these influencers influencing me. I saw her wearing this one dress in particular and I was like, oh my god, where is that dress from? I need it in my life and I need it now. I swiped up on her story, saw that it was from Misguided. I thought, oh, so Misguided has pastel things, huh? So I went looking through all of their stuff, found a bunch of things that I really, really liked. A few of these things I bought, even though they aren't my sort of color palette, I bought them because I saw it and I was like, from a style point of view, that is amazing. It might not match my wardrobe, but it's amazing. So I bought it because I really wanted to show you guys. So we'll uh, get stuck in and have a look at some of this stuff. The usual disclaimer, there is a bird in this video. If you don't like birds or if you think they're annoying, there's lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of other try on hauls that you can go and watch. So if you leave a comment complaining about him, just, just don't. Just, just believe the video. If you don't like the bird, it's simple. Because the bird stays. And if you don't like him, you go. Without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. Just take a moment to appreciate this box. Look at this. Do you see how ridiculously beaten up this is? This looks like me in primary school. <laughs> beaten to a pulp. <laughs> I'm not joking. I don't know whether it looked like this when they sent it or if this happened in the mail, but luckily all I got was clothes and there's nothing breakable in there, so it doesn't matter. First impressions of Misguided. I really like the website. I think it's easy to use. I actually downloaded the app because I was lying in bed when I was doing all this shopping and I find apps incredibly easy to use. So I downloaded their app. <coughs> Not sponsored. <coughs> Not sponsored. Did all my shopping through the app and that was really, really easy to use. They had a fair few things that matched my style, which I thought was nice. And I thought the pricing was okay too. Some of the things are a little tiny bit expensive, but when you use a discount code, it's totally fine. And I have been keeping an eye on this website since I bought this stuff. This stuff I used a 50% discount on. Uh, they have a 40% discount on at the moment, so they're a bit like Boohoo, they just kind of constantly cycle through a sale. Nothing is ever actually the full price. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to list the full price anyway. I actually had a really hard time figuring out exactly what I paid in the end for each individual item, because when I look at my sales invoice, it gives me the full price of every single item, and at the bottom it says $300 discount. It doesn't actually tell me how much was discounted off what items, so I'm just going to give you the full price, but just be mindful of the fact that there's always some sort of bull sale going on. So you'll, you'll get it at some sort of reduced price. Just keep that in mind. Now we've got to figure out what to do with Archie while I unbox this. Um, yes, let's get into it. Tops first. First top. Don't come back. You stay there. No, 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 no. The first top is a pastel, sort of like a lilac and white stripy turtleneck. Now this actually matches a dress. This is the dress that I saw Kayla Hadlington wearing online. And when I saw that, I also ended up finding this and it's exactly the same thing, but the top version. So I think I'll try the top on first and I'll leave all the dresses until last. Archie seems to think that He's invited to sit on my head for the duration of this video and chew on my hair. So if that's what he has to do, then so be it. 
joys of pet ownership. Okay, first impressions, this fabric is a lot thinner than I thought it was going to be. I thought that it would be quite thick and warm, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because it would be nice to wear this in autumn or fall. Top number one, great success. I am so happy. This is uh, like, I'm literally ecstatic right now. I've been wanting, oh crap, <gasps> there's my waist trainer. Oh, sorry, that's, that's from my wish video. Yes, I'm wearing it. I just wanted to give it a go. I wanted to see if it would work. This top, great success. I love the length of the sleeves. I'm an absolute sucker for long sleeves, particularly because I have kind of long arms. So this, this sleeve length is beautiful. And there's a little slit here too. So I guess that kind of makes it convenient for if you need to use your hands, but then if you don't need to use them, you can just tuck them up like a T-Rex and hide them. I love this. I actually don't mind the color on me. And my mum always warned me off stripes when I was younger. She'd say, Alex, don't wear stripes. They make you look whiter than what you are. But I don't think that really counts in this situation. I think it depends on what sort of stripes and the colors and if it matches your skin tone. I'm really happy with this. And also, okay, right. And I love the fact that it's really lightweight too, because on a moderately warm day, I think I could still get away with wearing this. So. I think what I'm going to do guys, I've had a few people requesting that I do a, a little tally of keep and return items. So this one goes in the keep pile. <laughs> Next up we have this pastel pink cropped rugby shirt. Now I'm not happy with how long it is because my boobs, well my bra is right there. So if I were to lift up my arm, you would see my bra. So I'm not really happy about that. I think it's really cute. But at the same time with rugby shirts, I think there's a very, very fine line between cute Korean schoolgirl aesthetic and can I speak to the manager soccer mom? So this one is sort of teetering on that fine line, but you know, I think it's really cute. And I think that some people could really rock this, but the unfortunate thing for me is the fact that this is so, so short. So you would either have to wear a singlet underneath it to prevent people from seeing the bottom of your bra, but then that kind of defeats the purpose of having a crop top. So I'm not quite sure about this one. I'm leaning towards the return pile. I'm not sure, I think I need your help with this one, guys, because do you think that it's an issue? I mean, look, if I, uh, yeah, yeah, there's the bottom of the bra. I think that's a little bit too short. What do you think? Please let me know. We have another one of these rugby tops, so hopefully this one's gonna be a little tiny bit longer. Okay, well, this one is still the same sort of length. Again, a size six. So I suppose you could always order a size up and it wouldn't, or maybe wouldn't be quite so short. Maybe if I'd gone a size eight, it would have come down that little tiny bit further. So that would be nice. Well, I think this top is Archie approved because he won't leave me alone now that I'm wearing it. Honestly, if sports uniforms looked like this, I might actually get off my ass and play sports for once in my life. Who am I kidding? Nothing could make me play sport. Well, I love the color of this. I really don't know about these rugby shirts. I think they're really cute, really adorable. I'm sad that it's not long enough. So if you guys wanted to buy one of these, maybe buy it a size up, a size more than you would normally buy, just so that it covers your bra. Cause my bra is, I mean, I, I don't want to show you too much, but there it is, it's, it's right there. So that's just a little bit too, too short for me. So I think this one is going into the return pile. No, 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 no. All right, this is automatically in the cake pile. <laughs> do you know why? Extra points for you if you know why. Here's a hint. It's got something to do with brunch. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a really big brunch person. And when I saw this on the website, I knew I had to have it. It's my favorite sort of material. This is actually a pajama top, a pajama top, but you know what? I can just picture myself crawling out of bed at 11 a.m. on a Sunday after a long night watching Netflix, crawling out of bed. Did someone say brunch? That's my mood every Sunday <laughs> when I sleep in and wake up and I just want avocado on toast. So I really like the fit of this one. And this one is, a size six, eight dollars. That's great. Actually, so anyway, this one is really, really cute. Very soft fabric, really nice shade of pink. 
I like the length too. It meant to be a pajama shirt, but I'll tell you what, I would gladly wear this out of the house to go and eat brunch because I am that lame. I love this. Eight dollars, you can't go wrong. <laughs> this one is going straight into the keep pile. I have another one of these night bedtime shirts that I'm definitely gonna wear in public. It's a mood. This is my constant mood. You know what, if I ever go to VidCon, I think I'll just rock up wearing this because to be honest, I'm late to everything because I never actually want to leave the house. Thumbs up this video if you can relate. This one is not the same fabric as that one that I just tried on. That one was heaps stretchier than what this one is. So this one is a little tiny bit tighter. I don't mind. It's also a thicker fabric as well. Intended to be a bed shirt. I will wear it out of the house quite happily. I think I'll wear this to the next party that I get invited to. This one is going straight in the keep pile. Here we are with our very first Barbie purchase. Look, I'll tell you what. When I was growing up, I hated Barbie. I mean, my parents bought me Barbies when I was quite young, but as I got a little bit older, I was much more of a tomboy than any sort of girly girl, and I despised Barbie. It's funny, I'm an adult now, and I have much more of an interest in Barbie and Hello Kitty and all these other things than I ever had when I was young. All I was interested in as a kid was Pokemon, Beyblades, and Bionicles, and Lego. But I'll tell you what, when I saw this collection drop, I was like, mm, I need it, I need it. I just, I don't know why, I don't know what, what it is in me that changed that made me suddenly start liking Barbie. You know what, maybe it's not the fact that it's branded as Barbie, maybe it's just the fact that this Barbie collection is pastel and really, really cute. That, that could be it, because I don't actually have any strong connection to Barbie like I have to Hello Kitty. So this is really cute. I like how it's split straight down the middle. I love the fact that it's lilac, white, and pink. I think that's super cute. I like the fit as well. The sleeves are totally a fine length. It's not very thick. This wouldn't keep you particularly warm in winter. It's just kind of like a chuck on over the top of something else that's long sleeved and then you might be warm. It's quite lightweight. But you know what, I haven't been disappointed with how any of this is made. I think it's all made really well, and for the price, I'm quite surprised. I'm not entirely sure about this one, whether I should keep it or not, because I have a whole bunch of these pullover things. Like, my whole wardrobe is full of them. So I'm not sure if I should keep it. Look, if I stand like this, it's white. And now it's purple. <laughs> I really like it. You know what, this is like cheating the system if I have to take Instagram photos on the same day, I can just be like, hey Daniel, Daniel, can you take a photo of me? Oh yeah, cute, cute outfit. 10 minutes later, do my hair differently, put on some sunglasses, it's a different day. <laughs> the lazy girl's guide to Instagram. <laughs> anyway, I really like this, but I'm not quite sure. I'm leaning towards the keep pile, but at the same time, I'm like, is it good enough? Mm, should it go into the returns pile? I, I, I'm not quite sure. Need your help with this one too. Okay, I think I'm going to put back on the cropped turtleneck because I have a few jackets that I want to try on. Okay, this was a bit expensive, this one. But Daniel and I are going to Japan next week and I thought that it would be nice to get a coat to... Holy shit. Oh my god. This is so soft! What the hell? The entire inside is lined with faux fur and it's that sort of fur where if you push it down it's the softest thing you've ever felt in your entire life but then you pull it up and it's a little bit coarse. You know what, I used to own a Rex Rabbit. I don't know if there's any bunny owners here, but Rex Rabbits are literally the softest rabbits on the planet. Unfortunately, they're used for their fur a lot because of how soft it is. But I'm so glad that brands are able to recreate that texture without having to kill an animal because this is heavenly soft. I actually had a minor freak out when I put my arm in this. I'm not, I'm not kidding. I just got chills. <sighs> I know that sounds like an overreaction, but I literally, ugh. I am getting chills putting this on. <laughs> okay, anyway, right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I just had to have that moment. Okay. Hmm. Damn. Damn! I wanted to like this so bad, but there's actually fur floating around everywhere. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry! Sorry, sorry, don't at me. <sighs> that was a close one. Oh! It doesn't have buttons! And it doesn't have a zip! Okay. 
First impressions, it's a little bit tight when I go to pull my arms across like that. I like the color, love this baby blue color. Love the inside, I love how soft it is. You know what? It does not fit the way that it looks like it fit on the model. What was the model doing? Was she holding it shut? Hang on, let me see. What was the model doing? How did she make this look good? Oh, she was holding it shut. No, 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 off. What if I want to return it? Get off. In the picture, the model is doing this, that, that sort of thing. And it looks really good, but uh, uh, I'm so annoyed. And it doesn't have pockets. No, 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 it's not fair. I'm sorry, I'm very passionate about pockets. Well, look, if this had a button somewhere and I could close it, I would really like it, but it just hangs open and I'm not the biggest fan of that. I feel like I'm serving some serious Ice King vibes. And Archie is Gunter, which is fitting because I got to stay frosty to deal with all them haters. I am leaning towards return for this one. As much as it was a euphoric moment putting this on with how soft it is on the inside, I really don't like how it looks. I think this is going in the return pile unless you guys can convince me otherwise. Look, the outside is kind of suede, which is nice. This fur is soft, but not as soft as the fur on the inside. Can you see those lines? I think they're quite nice. I, I'm sure, no, there's no buttons. I'm just double checking. It means that they could be somewhere in here. No, there's not. I know some of you are crafty. Maybe you could suggest to me how I could make this better. I guess I could sew on buttons. No, please don't chew on that. Actually, you know what would be cute? What if I got little like snowflake buttons and then sewed them on and then had it so that it buttoned up like that. Actually, go away. Go away. I am not proficient at sewing, but Sam is. And someone had a really great suggestion. They suggested that I should do a video where I take the things that I wasn't quite happy with and I get Sam and he helps me to do a DIY project and then we can alter it to make it into something that I would like. Now this one was kind of pricey. I, I think it was a hundred dollars. Now, let me look on the app. This is 160. I don't think I paid 160 for it. I'm pretty sure it was reduced, but I think for $160 full price, if I'm not quite happy with it, maybe it should go back. Anyway, what do you guys think? Please give me your thoughts below because I really need a hand with this because that was honestly the most euphoric thing ever putting this on, but looking at it, I'm not that happy. So please tell me your thoughts. I am literally covered in fur. I kind of feel like Christine and Sophia when they tried on that giant sock. Okay, next up we have, next up we have a faux leather jacket. It's confusing me a bit because it's got this little thing at the bottom with a zip all the way along. I'm not really sure what you're meant to do with that. I have no, I have no idea. This, it, it unzips. It unzips all the way. And then it's got these. I don't know, is it just meant to be like an extension? Is it meant to be you take it off and it crops it? Does anyone know what that's meant to be? I'm really not sure. As you can tell, I bought a lot of lilac violet colored things in this haul. No Archie, no. No, 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 no. Look, I told you the bird would get annoying. Oh yes, hello. That's it from the front. I really, really have no, no idea what this second business is meant to be all about, I, I don't know. But I'll show you the reason that I bought it. This jacket has a message on it for all the haters. Please don't leave me in comments because I'm very, very... Fragile. That's me. That's why I bought it. I bought it because it says fragile. Not because I really like the motorbike look. But it is a pastel moto jacket, so maybe it's worth keeping. This says... $32? Okay, I really don't know if that's full price. $32 for a faux leather jacket, that's not bad. Maybe I will keep this. I feel like that's that's actually not that much to lose. But at the same time, I don't feel like I would wear this very much. I try to wear sort of soft, angelic, pretty kind of things, not really edgy stuff like this. So maybe I wouldn't wear it as much as I think I would. I actually, I have a couple of faux leather jackets in my wardrobe that I've never worn. I'm just not sure if the fact that it's pastel is good enough to warrant me keeping it. I am leaning towards the returns pile though. 
I bought this because one of my ah. followers. I bought this because one of my followers on Instagram sent it to me and I thought it was super cute. Wearing this, I kind of feel like if Queer Eye for the Straight Guy gave Sully a makeover. I've had a couple of pastel fur jackets in the past. One in particular that I remember, I bought one from Nasty Girl a couple of years ago. It cost me an arm and a leg and it was so big and it made me look like a truck. Back then I did weigh 100 kilos, so I think 100 kilo me with a big puffy fur jacket just wasn't a good look, but it kind of turned me off fur jackets ever since. So this is the first one I've bought since I've lost weight, and I actually don't mind it. I think it's really cute. This is meant to be kind of like festival wear. I'm pretty sure they show the model with like sequency things all over her, like she's gone to Coachella or something. I'm, I'm not really down with the festivals, I'm not sure. But you know what? Japan is just one big festival for me, so I think I'm gonna keep this and take it to Japan. Check out this hood. Ready, ready? Yes! This is so cute! I love it! Okay, yeah, bye. It's probably one of the most extra things that I've ever worn, but I really don't care at all. I reckon if I wore this in Japan, people would come up to me and ask to have photos with me. And that is a little video series that I really want to make. A lookbook for how to get photographed by strangers in Japan. Because every time I go to Japan, Japanese girls come running up to me and they say, Oh, sumimasen! Shoshin onegaishimasu! Or something to that extent. Please correct me if my Japanese is off, but it's something like photo, please. And everywhere I go in Japan, people take photos with me. And it, it's probably a combination of the fact that I have red hair, so I stand out. And also the fact that I wear ridiculous clothes. So I reckon I can take this with me as part of my how to get photographed by strangers in Japan vlog. I think I'll keep this. I think that the website said it's like $100 or something. So I think I'm going to keep this one. I really, really like it. I have a two-piece Barbie set now. Here's the top from the matching Barbie set. Now, I ummed and aahed over buying this for so long. I kept adding it to my cart and then removing it and adding it again. I can see a trend developing here. I seem to be buying a lot of these two-piece loungewear sets. I'm slowly turning into a couch dweller, never to... <coughs> never to leave the house again because I'm too comfortable. Anyway, look, I did decide to buy it in the end because I thought it's nice that the top can be worn with some separate pants. It doesn't necessarily have to be worn as part of the loungewear set, but I'll put the pants on and show you. I actually think that I could possibly wear this one out. I feel like this is the sort of outfit I could just chuck on if I was going shopping just for some groceries or something like that, or if I was going to a friend's house and I didn't really care much about dressing up. So there's the full length. Sorry about all the mess. I actually, I really like this. A lot of people tell me pink isn't my color, so I'm sure I'll get comments saying, don't keep the two-piece set because there's too much pink and it doesn't suit you. But I really don't mind. I love the fact that it's high-waisted and it cinches me in here. I think that's really cute. Yeah, I really like this one and I'm, I'm really digging these long, chunky straps too. How cute is this? Sorry about the hair, I'll untuck the hair. Archie, what are you doing? Archie, I'll get... Oh, he's got a feather stuck to him, look. Here, let me... I'll get it. It's okay. Oh, was that scary? This thumbnail, ready? Okay, I think this is really cute how it cinches in at the waist here and it's baggy here. It actually gives the impression of having a thinner waistline than what I really have. I love this. I think that this will make for a really cute photo. I'm gonna take a selfie in this and post it on Instagram. Pretty pastel, please. So uh, head over and drop it a like, <laughs> please, please. Okay, I'm a little bit confused right now because on the bag here, this says Barbie checkered pleated skirt, but it's completely black, so. This is the outfit that that was supposed to be. So I ordered the checkered skirt. They sent me a black one in the wrong size. So this is automatically going into the returns pile. But I am glad that you guys get to see this because I'm, I know that there's a whole bunch of you that only wear black. This is serving up some serious Wednesday Adams vibes and I ain't mad about it. I think you guys might really like this. I bought the top because it matched the skirt. So I'm really sad that I don't get to see what the whole outfit looked like. It's not my usual aesthetic, you know that I wear all the pastel colours, but I did buy this outfit because I thought heaps of you guys might like to see it. I love this top. The embroidery is done really well. Sometimes there's loose stitching on embroidery. No loose stitching here, which is nice. Like the neckline, love the sleeves and little white details there. And also I got the tall fit on this top. So it's a crop top, but it stops kind of just above my belly button, unlike 
those rugby shirts which stopped kind of like there. So I really appreciate that they have a tall range for crop tops as well. I think that a lot of you would really like the skirt. It's got the branding at the side there so it's really subtle. It falls very nicely and it sits at a very nice length too. You know that I have this pet peeve with skirts being so short that you can see my bum if I go upstairs. This is fine, like it's at a really good length. I'm definitely gonna return the skirt. I'm not quite sure about the top. I don't think that I'd ever wear it. Like I guess, I guess the top would be nice if I dressed it up with some other pastel kind of things, but just not sure if I should keep this one. Okay, I have a really bad feeling this is another mistake because this is meant to be a two-in-one set, but it looks like there's only one item in here. So I have a really bad feeling about this. Yeah, they didn't send the rest of it. Ah, so angry. It looked so nice on the website. It looked beautiful and I was so damn excited to get it. But they've only sent one thing. They've only sent the top. It's meant to be a two piece set. So you're meant to get the leopard print cami dress thing with it, but they didn't send it. Well, this one's definitely going in the returns pile. It's so short that it's not covering my bra. Keeps riding up. And also the fabric is awful. This is probably the most horrible thing that I've put on so far today. The fabric is just like gravel, like stiff and really nasty sort of fabric. I feel like I'm wearing a St. Trinian's uniform right now. This should have had that leopard print dress and it doesn't have it with it. And I am so angry right now. So I'm gonna have to return this. Um, also, this was a size 10, funnily enough, because that's the last size that they had left on the website for this set. So I had to order a size 10 because I really, really wanted to try it on. And for a size 10, this is fitting me very, very snugly as a size six. So I can't imagine what the size six would have been like if I'd actually ordered one of those. I don't know if it would have been heaps smaller or maybe this is just one size and they just sell it as different sizes because it's somewhat stretchy. Anyway, I'm really, really, really mad and sad that the full set didn't come. So this one's going in the returns pile. This one and the skirt, both going in the returns pile. We have a second two piece set. Now this one, I can see there's two pieces in here. So they didn't stuff this one up luckily. All right, so part one of this two piece set is this little crop top. It's very tight. I don't know if it's too tight. It's a size six, but it's kind of choking me. I actually feel like I'm in 50 shades of gray right now because this is choking me so tight around the neck. I think it's really cute on its own. Let's try it on with the dress that it came with. Do you like it? You look like you like it. Okay, well here it is. I feel so chic wearing this. It's very tight. I highly recommend you get a size up in this. This is size six, but it's fitting me more like a size four would. I love the fact that the Barbie look has kind of matured. It's moved away from that hot pink kind of Malibu Barbie. It's almost as though Barbie has moved away from California. She's moved to Paris. She's dumped Ken, met a guy called Gerard. She lives on top of the Eiffel Tower and she eats baguettes every day. <laughs> Those are the Barbie vibes that I'm getting from this outfit right now. This makes me even more sad that the leopard print one didn't turn up because I think the leopard print one would have been absolutely to die for. Okay, this is by far the best quality item that I've tried on in the whole haul. It's a bit difficult to get it to line up, but I really like this. I love dresses that come down just a bit below the knee because they look really nice with a pair of pumps. I. I'm not so sure about gray on me. Like gray kind of falls into the acceptable in the pastel palette, but also not sure if it suits people with red hair. I'm also a little bit bummed out about the transparency of this. I guess I'll just have to wear um, like a nude colored G-string if I was going to wear this one. This is, like I said, the best quality of all of them so far. Like, oh, it's not that soft but it's very thick. This is like a winter dress. This is by far a winter dress. I'm kind of <laughs> struggling with lining up these buttons. Do they undo? Well, they do. Oh, so the whole dress actually unbuttons all the way down, which could be risky. I would hate for this to pop open when I was out in public. I don't often wear gray. I don't know if gray suits me. So I really appreciate your opinion on this one. This is not going in either pile right now. It's not going in the capes. You are so infuriating. I'm not sure if I'll keep or return this one. Definitely need your opinion on this. I wasn't particularly looking forward to this one arriving because I was very uncertain about it. 
I didn't really like the way that it looked on the model, but I thought I'll get it just in case it looks nice on me. I think this is very cute for sure. I've been wanting a dress that has frilly little mini sleeves for a really long time because I keep seeing them popping up online and I think it's an adorable look. I don't know if it's too, like, oh, what would you say? baby doll-ish, does that make sense? I don't know if it's too kind of sexy for me. I don't normally wear really sexy things. I think that this could be very, very cute. Particularly, I could wear this in Japan and I could wear it with like some really cute accessories as well. I really like the way that it fits me. This is a size six. This is very cute. It's not too tight around here, which is so good because in my last haul video, I tried on a dress like this and it was extremely tight around here and it really cut in, but this fits me beautifully. I think this is a size six. I'll just double check. Oh, this is a size eight. That's that's why. Yes, see, got to size up in these tight sort of things. Almost everything else that I bought is a size six and it all fits me fine. But this one, yeah, I got a size eight. I probably got the size eight because the size six was sold out. That'd be the only reason. And the size eight is fitting me very nicely. I don't know if I'll keep this or not because I actually can't imagine wearing this out too much. I feel like I would feel very overdressed if I wore this anywhere, unless it was some sort of themed evening. But it is very, very sweet. I can imagine keeping it and wearing it to a party or something, but I'm not sure. So I'm leaning towards the returns pile. Next up is the dress that started it all. This is the dress that I saw on Kayla Hadlington. And when I saw her wearing it, I was like, I need that in my life. And I accidentally ordered two. <laughs> So, I'll have to return the second one. He's like a boomerang. Okay, I love it. Thank you, Kayla Hadlington, for wearing this. Thank you, Misguided, for probably sponsoring her to wear this. I love it. Absolutely love it. The turtleneck is a bit long, so I might have to fold that over. Well, I loved the top, and the dress is even better. So, I'm really, really glad that I got this, and I'm 110% keeping it. I know that my mum tells me that stripes make me look wide, but I think that it is perfect. I don't think that it makes me look wide at all. I really like that it cinches in here and it is a little tiny bit sheer. You can kind of see my stripey undies underneath. So I think that a, a nude G-string would be totally fine to wear underneath this one. I'm taking this to Japan and I think I'm gonna wear it everywhere. Kayla styled it with some fishnet socks and I actually have those socks and some black Converse. I don't have those. <laughs> but I think a pair of pink sneakers would look really, really cute with this. I'm screaming inside. I I'm literally screaming. I love this so much. I'm deceased. Uh, the only other thing that I have to show you, I got some pastel socks. By the way, they have a hollow tag, which Christine would probably like. The fabric of this dress is a little bit thin, so I would be kind of worried about Archie's talons wrecking it. So I'm just gonna gently ask him to get off. Thank you. I can't try these on without ruining the packaging. So I guess I'm keeping these ones for sure. There we go. I see what you did there, misguided. Making it impossible to return the socks. The first pair are white and kind of like an orange color with purple. I think that's really cute. The next pair is purple and white. Very cute again. And the last pair is this peachy color with white stripes. I love them all. There is no better feeling than fresh socks. Thumbs up if you agree. They're very, very cute. Look, the bird stays. All right guys, well that is everything that I bought from Misguided. All in all, I am quite happy with this haul. I'm very sad that two of the items came and they were wrong, but I'm gonna forgive them because everything else is incredible and it came really fast. I will see how their customer service is when I return this. I'm gonna do a follow-up video on how I go with my returns because I'm returning a whole bunch of stuff that I got at Pretty Little Thing. And I will also return the things that didn't work out from this haul. So I might do a follow-up video a little bit later to let you all know how the whole returns process went for me. Fingers crossed everything goes well there because if it does, this will have been a perfect shopping experience and I will be very, very happy. So I think my standouts are this dress, the cropped version of this, the Barbie two-piece with the white turtleneck and the black cami, the fur hoodie. Oh my gosh, there is so much that I absolutely love. I'm going to pack a whole bunch of this and take it to Japan with me. So speaking of Japan, I will be there from next week. So I don't know how my upload schedule will be, 
Not that I, I really have an upload schedule to begin with. But anyway, I'm going to try and post at least once a week while I'm over there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram. You can find Archie doing some daily vlogs over there. He has a lot to say for himself, I promise you. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah.